Hi everyone, today we're going to create a min pass NFT collection, add custom metadata, and generate a random discount for our NFTs. I'm now on the one mint landing page, and we're going to start creating our min pass collection. So there's already a background layer created for us, so we're going to reuse that, and we're just going to drag and drop our two passes in here. So what we're going to do is create a 1000 NFT collection. So that's our collection size. And we want to say, I want to create 500 of this NFT and 500 of this other NFT. So let's start by renaming things so things look nicer. So this is not a background anymore. This is just going to be a pass. This is the Yellowstone Park. And this is the Yosemite Park. So by the way, we're creating an NFT collection for the US National Parks, which is why we have a pass for each park. So now, what I can do is click on preview all and click generate or randomize. And what I'll see is only two NFTs, one of each. The reason for that is because by default, the tool generates only unique uh, images. And right now I can only generate two unique images. So we're going to change that. I'm going to go back to the layer settings. I'm going to fix my typo. I'm going to select each pass one after the other. So cl I'm clicking on Yellowstone. And then we have this duplicate field. And basically, we're going to allow 500 duplicates of each pass. So 500 of Yellowstone and now 500 of Yosemite. I can just close it, go back to preview, randomize again. And now you can see we have exactly 500 of each can click on it and you can see how it looks and you can see the metadata associated with the NFT. So that could be good enough. You could be ready to go and click generate your collection. We're going to go a step further and add a bit more metadata to our collection. So the first thing I want to do is uh, add the state of where the park is. So in order to do that, I'm going to select each uh, park one by one and click on custom attributes. And here I'm just going to call the attribute state. And this is Yellowstone in Wyoming and click add. And I'll do the same with Yosemite, which is in California save. I can go back to preview all, click randomize, and you can select one and you'll see now we have the correct metadata for our NFTs. Now, I want to generate entry discounts. So as a holder of the NFT, you get a discount when you enter the park. So let's generate random discount values for our NFTs. So what I want to do is create a new layer called entry discount. Click enter. And then I'm going to click this add custom assets button. And I'm going to click create two custom assets. And I'm creating creating two because I've decided to create two tiers of discounts. So the way it works is I'm going to go into each trait and you see this metadata type. I'm going to change that to random number within a specified range. So I'm going to select that. And here I'm going to say, this is where I'm going to choose the discount range of uh, our NFT. So I'm going to say they can have a discount between 5 and 15%, for example. 
in here the name in this specific scenario doesn't really matter so i'm just gonna name this 5 to 15. so that's gonna generate a random number between 5 and 15 for each nft i'm gonna go to the other one and i'm gonna call this 20 to 50 so this is a higher discount and i'm gonna say 20 to 50. so we now <clears throat> have two tiers we want this one to be more rare than the other one so what i can do i have two options i can click on legendary here and that will split the rarity to about five percent and 95 for the other one if i want to, to be more specific i can click on the advance here and play around with the slider you can move this this way or move it out this way so about one percent will have the 20 to 50 and the majority will get the other one so if i click randomize all the nft now have a discount so 5 9 13 6 27 for example and so on so we they all have a discount i don't think we want all of them to have a discount so what we'll do is change the rarity of the layer to say only 15 percent of the entire collection can have a discount so i set the rarity to 15 percent i click preview and randomize and you can see that the values here have changed. I have only one uh, NFT with this uh, discount. So if I click on it, so this one is at 30%. And I can click, keep clicking randomize to get different values because it's always random. See, sometimes there's actually no um, discount or large discount. Sometimes in one, sometimes there's two. And that's pretty much it. We generate our pass for the US national parks. Some of them will have a discount, uh, a large discount. Some of them will have a low discount and some of them will not have a discount. And the next step would simply be generate this collection to generate the art and metadata, which you can download and deploy on your own, or you can stay within the one in platform and deploy on your own. Thank you.